Keen O'Malley with the throw. And that's quite a throw in from him as well. And it's going to produce a chance for Mikey Rowe to get a shot in on goal. But the ball was blocked down and gathered by Jack Brady. But uh, Longford Town won't want to put the ball out around their 18 yard box too often because that looks like quite a weapon that Keen O'Malley has on him in terms of the long throw in. They conceded four set piece goals last time. So this is an area Wexford could make some big gains in this evening. Corner to be taken from the stand side. A Lua in a duel with Brady, and Brady did extremely well, but he didn't seem to have a lot of protection in front of him there, Gary. Ran into it, was confident to do so. Speaking of space, there might be some for Wexford to exploit on the counter attack here, as the ball is picked up by Keen Corbilly. He goes outside here. It's Crawford. Crawford with a cross. There's two players and they both went for the one ball flank. They go up anyway. But that's a breakdown in communication there between the two extra players. Thomas Alou was one of them. And uh, he collided. This is going to be, need to be O'Malley. Alive here. O'Malley with the long throw in. How many minutes are we giving him to take it? Brady gave a call but Brady didn't get there. And Ethan Boyle there. flicks it. Goal bound and Mikey Rowe taps it in. Longford Town conceded four set-piece goals last week and they have conceded the opening goal of the night from a long throw in here. Saying it's easily cleared away by Dino Shea. Boyle. Lovic. Reese Webb again. Webb with the diagonal. This could be an awkward one for Jack Brady and Brady did really well. Thomas Alua <laughs> with the uh, very hopeful <laughs> appeal that Brady had falling behind the line real urgency here from Longford Town eventually the ball is chucked inside the Frank Campbell who takes a careless touch Shane Elworthy couldn't afford to take any chances there just had to hook that one away with Alou on his shoulder and here is Thomas Alou and now we probably could have taken that down and draw four but instead he brings Mark Hanratty into the game Longford have stepped off Hanratty and they were almost punished that wasn't too far wide at all from the Exton dog man players rented a ball left the man back and just passed him walked past him like this Again, this is a good pick out from Jack Brady. Almost got a right onto the nut of Jordan Adeyemo. Just uh, Alua, he's managed to spin Elworthy. He's in behind Wade Slater. Alua head down, drives into the penalty. Yeah, Thomas Alua off the crossbar. Would have been a sensational solo goal. But again, Can this be a turning point for Longford Town? Longford Town were opened up very easily. Will they be opened up from this latest Wexford set piece? Ball goes into the Longford Town penalty area. Alua inches away from making a two. To try and beat Dino Shea. Longford have switched off from the yeah. throw in. They've allowed Wexford Talking. to take a quick one. Lovic. Webb runs off Kyle O'Connor. Gets the cross inside. Alua lets it beat him and it falls to Mikey Rowe. Who buries it into the bottom corner for a second. 2-0 to Wexford. Absolutely, yeah. And, and you know what? Probably fully deserved to an extent. Yeah. Straight, no, it didn't. It went out straight off Lovic's head. Crawford with the quickly taken corner. And this looks like it could be one off the training ground. Can they get a shot away? Hanratty. There's the shot for O'Malley. What a save that is from Jack Brady. Fair play to Jack Brady. He does well to bail out um, Longford Town and the ref. More lack of a communication there from uh, this time Wexford there. There was no need to hit that ball. Here's the heavily involved Bash in here. Start of this second half. Ball towards Luke Wade Slater, who's got up, and the ball's in the back of the net. Oh, Mason with a miscalculation. He came for it, he didn't get it. Luke Wade Slater did, and Longford are back in the game. Game should have been restarted 10 seconds ago, and Longford Town need to make their decision a lot quicker. Brady looking for Adeyemo. Adeyemo, I'm not sure how he's taken it down, but he has. He's done remarkably well. Wickstead, the ball was slightly behind him. Still a good That's cross. A and it looked like there might have been a shove. The yes. header was from Shane Elworthy. Ross Fay went down like a ton of bricks inside the air. Adeyemo. Adeyemo gives Webb the, the skip. But that's uh, good covering. He was bailed out there was Reese Webb. That's more like the Kyle O'Connor we know. Absolutely great. Ball over the top for Fay. Has he stayed on side? Oh, he goes down inside the area again. Appeals for a penalty. Nothing given. Put into the Wexford half for the first time. Oof. Not the best pass from the Ukrainian though. Well read by Bashan here. He dropping into the centre back position there to intercept that one. And this is a ball over the top for Adiemo. Mix up at the back, and Adiemo somehow has missed. Make sure he didn't. He kicked it away. Yeah. <laughs> um, confidence, I think, probably a, a low. 
Here, a lovely turn. It's amazing how he can engineer space when there is none. Shoot. Mason and one of his centre halves, Ben Lynch, collide again. Offside flag went up. Have partly cleared their lines. And now they could be on the break. Connor Crowley. That looked to have come off the referee, yeah. but no, play continues. So. With Mikey Rowe. Mikey Rowe chopped down on the edge of the area by Dean O'Shea. And Dean O'Shea is going to receive his marching orders. It's his second yellow card of the game. Longford Town are reduced to 10 men. Let's try and win the game here for Wexford FC. Five in the wall for Longford. Mikey Rowe. Oh, and saved by Brady, and the rebound <laughs> isn't uh, turned home by Luka Lovic. It looked like it might have... Sorry, it can't be 4-3-3. Three, three. They're down to 10 men, I think it's... 1-1-7. Uh... <laughs> one, one, <laughs> There's two strikers up there anyway, by the looks of it. That's the ball. Keeper comes. Keeper collides with his own defender, and the referee is given a free out. 